Welcome to Barcelona and the conclusion of the Euro Formula Open season. Last time out in Jerez, Leonardo Porcini claimed the title, but this circuit always produces some great racing. And with a point to prove going into the winter, we should be in some very entertaining action. Let's take a look at the very best of the racing. Although the championship being decided in Jerez, there was everything to race for in Barcelona, particularly in race one, as Ferdinand Habsburg and Colton Hurt went side by side into the first corner. The American taking the escape route, a decision that would have profound consequences later on. Meanwhile, in the early stages, Dyson was fast and frantic as champion Porcini was looking to make ground, as was Dorian Boccalacci on his championship debut. Porcini was uncharacteristically off the pace in the early stages and we soon found out why as the Italian was forced to pit in for a new nose cone. Meanwhile, Herta got tapped around by Boccalacci. The American had been asked to see that position gained at the start to Habsburg but by then the Frenchman had got clear of the Austrian. Habsburg then took the fight to Boccalacci but was squeezed down across the curbs, the Frenchman doggedly defending his lead. Meanwhile, Tatiana Calderon was looking to make progress past her RP Motorsport teammate, Anthony Patak. So it's Boccalacci who took victory on the road, while the later penalty saw him demoted to third behind Habsburg and Herta. But in the moment, it was jubilation for the Teo Martin Motorsport squad. So on to the top step for Boccalacci, and they ultimately beat Ferdinand Habsburg who would add the race victory to his rookie trial. I'm really happy uh, yeah, for the team, for everybody, for me also. Uh, yeah, it's, it's my first race in F3 Open Euro, uh, Euro and, uh, and I'm really happy uh, to do a great job today. Uh, the qualify was not so good, we, we had some trouble but uh, we still uh, did P5 and I knew that I can take a good start and then I'm really fast at the beginning so I directly uh, take the third place and then I take the first, the first place a uh, few, few laps after and then the, the race was really really long because I used the, directly the, the tire and it was really 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 hard at the end because uh, you have Asberg and the other driver behind uh, they came really really fast but I, I win the race and I'm really happy and I want to thank uh, all the team uh, uh, for the incredible job and, and thanks and I hope tomorrow I will do the same because uh, it's a fantastic day. Final race of the season is always a chance to impress before heading into the winter break. From pole position, it's Ferdinand Habsburg who got jumped by Porcini as they charged down towards Turn 1. Italian doing as he's done so often this year, getting into the lead in the early stages and trying to stretch away. Meanwhile, Kevin Andres was in the thick of the action, further down the order. Porcini, though, mysteriously faded. It was Colton Herter who inherited the lead to the race. The apparent American looking to make amends for the disappointment of race one. Meanwhile, Tatiana Calderon just trying a little bit too hard into turn 10. So it's the battle of the two top rookies of the season, Ferdinand Tabsberg and Colton Herter, the champion Porcini in third, and Dorian Boccalacci unable to close up from fourth. Hurt was able to claim yet another victory, the American, one of the standout drivers of the second half of the season, trailed home to second place by the rookie champion Ferdinand Tabsburg. So delight for Carlin, another win in their debut season in the category in celebration for Colton Herter. Surely, like Habsburg and Pulcini, a name to watch for as he progresses up the international motorsport ladder. Proud moment for the American on the top step of the Barcelona Rostrum. You know, we came together this weekend, uh, a P2 in the first race and uh, a win in the second race to top it off. It's, it's been an amazing year and I'm very thankful for Carlin. Good season, huh? No, yeah, four wins. I don't know how many podiums, but uh, five poles. It's, it's been an amazing year and we, we really come on strong at the end of the year. Uh, I'm excited to see, uh, to see what next year brings. What's next? Oof, can't, can't say yet, can't say yet. Next few weeks you'll find out.
So Porcini, a dominant champion, and he added the Spanish Formula 3 title as well. For Ferdinand Tamsberg and Colton Herta, fantastic rookie seasons. And Diego Manchaca and Damiano Fiorvranti completing the top five ahead of Silverstone race winner Anthony Patak. Mm -hmm.